sometimes it seems anchoring is more complicated than it needs to be. For instance, calculating the scope ratio for anchoring is as simple as squaring the hypotenuse of the root of the depth cosine times the diameter of the shank squared plus the compass heading over the distance to the nearest pub. It really is simple. Scope is just the ratio of the length of anchor road to the distance from the bow roller to the bottom. In this example, we have 30 meters of road to 6 meters of depth equals a scope of 5 to 1. Don't forget to add the height of the bow roller and also the tide. If you're anchoring at low tide, you will need to add predicted tide height plus the water depth plus your bow height. The reason for this ratio is that we want the road to pull roughly parallel with the bottom so the anchor can set. If the road is angled up from the bottom, the anchor may not set or might pull out in strong winds. So that's a good example of why you want to have good scope. Because here we don't have enough scope, the anchor is never going to set properly like this. With our all-chain road, I plan to use 5 to 1 scope. But in some crowded anchorages, I will reduce it to 4 to 1. Another good reason to upsize your anchor. For any given situation, a larger anchor will hold better. But 5 to 1 is my preferred scope. When winds are predicted to be above 30 knots, we put out more road to make sure the anchor is pulling at a good angle even in the very strong gusts. It's generally recommended to increase scope to 7 to 1. Above that, there is very little improvement in anchor performance. Deep anchorages are another special case. As water depth increases, you can reduce scope somewhat. Here we are anchored in 14 meters of water with 60 meters of road. The scope is just 4 to 1, but we held fine in gusts of 35 knots. When we were anchored for Tropical Storm Chantel, we had gusts over 50 knots and had from 8 to 1 to 10 to 1 scope on all three stern anchors. Here's the road for the main fortress anchor taking the full force of the wind on the beam, but it didn't budge. To get the scope right, you will need to know how deep the water is, what the tide is, and how high it will go, plus you need to know how much road you have out. Proper scope will make sure the anchor has the best chance of setting properly and staying set so you can enjoy your time at anchor.